Welcome back to the trail. We are heading up to Rollins. Spent the night in encampment, well, Riverside actually. Um, got lucky with a couple of hitches. Got to the trailhead when the two guys in front of me had just secured a hitch and then got out of town to the edge of the, where the other, where 13 and guy number five got a hitch and I got to mooch off of that, but. Special shout out to the group that was at the campground last night at Shady Acres, hooked me up with an amazing dinner. It's called a cream pot dinner. And I guess it, you know, the old dairy cream pots, they put food in it and cook. And it was basically like, if you've ever been to Maryland or anywhere like where they do a crab boil, it's basically that, but with sausage instead of crab. So had an amazing dinner, great conversation, and uh, just a great time in camp. So just got down from Battle Creek, or not Battle Creek, Battle Pass, and heading into the, not quite the basin, but the approach to the basin. And Rollins will be in three days. We'll get there on Monday, the 19th. So making good progress so far, and then Rollins to Atlantic City will be the basin going through the desert, and then it'll be the Wind River Range. So, making, uh, making strides. See you guys down the trail. got pummeled by a storm but you can see the double rainbow that we got and what's interesting you can see it better over here the red is on the inside of both of them well not the inside of both but that first one the reds on the left and on the faint one to the left of it the reds on the right side but that's going away This herd of cows is straight up following me. I don't know what exactly they think they're gonna get. I'm about to mace these cows, but thankfully they are finally heading away. I think it's probably because guy number five and 13 are coming. Man, yesterday was a day. So ended up, I guess, calling an audible. Um, 
I had totally miscalculated the miles that were going to be for the third day. And it was going to be like 38. So instead of doing that, I ran into guy number five and 13, who you saw earlier when the cows were attacking me. I ended up running away from them. And we um, camped at this campground that was like 31 miles in for the day. So we have less than halfway to go, I think. And we all decided to push into town. So I'm going to make it from encampment to Rollins in two days. So things are looking already pretty good for Wyoming, making good pace. So see you guys down the trail and how this roadwalk goes. We got five and 13 in front of us. The classic hiker umbrella train down the road on these sunny road walks. Haven't seen this since New Mexico. What's going on everybody? So we are about 10 or 11 miles out from town, 13 miles-ish from the hotel. And um, we just got, I don't wanna say abandoned, the uh, guy number five and 13 decided to take a hitch in totally understand totally respect it it's super hot out here no reason to walk a paved road when we're hiking the continental divide i've done this a million times taking a hitch on a road and uh so i don't fault them for it at all but i don't know this is my first opportunity to back-to-back -back 30s and i wanted just to prove to myself and to the world that just because I had a tough time in Colorado doesn't mean that I'm down and out. I can still kick ass and crushing what is it, encampment to Rollins in two days. All right, we're getting into the outskirts of Rollins now. Strong finish to a two day stretch from encampment to here, the edge of the Great Divide Basin, where the divide goes east and west and splits. In the, in the middle is the basin where if any water falls, it doesn't go anywhere else, just kind of stays there. So, it's desert. And we're going to go tackle that in the next stretch. So, appreciate you guys coming along for the hike today. And see you on the trail.